<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video it's going to be like a, something a little different. If you if you see the camera kind of moving it's because I'm recording on top of my bed. And yeah the tripod's kind of on top of the bed so if I move and the camera shakes because I'm on my bed. But uh, it's, today's going to be a kind of different video that I've actually never done before. It's going to be a story time. <laughs> It's gonna be kind of like a, a love, like I guess my love life and like like me asking a girl and stuff like that. Oh my god, why I have trouble just talking to girls and asking girls out and stuff like that. And like some funny stuff about me asking out a girl and stuff. But and like my love experiences. So my first love experience was when I was in uh, fifth, sixth grade. I was like twelve. We were living in a ranch at the time, and um, yeah, we, we were kind of, she would be like, I want to say she was my neighbor, but she lived in the ranch with us, and like the house is in the ranch, and yeah, like she ended, I ended up finding out that she liked me, and I thought she looked like pretty, so I guess I, I can't remember who asked who out, but we ended up dating for like a little bit, like a week, and then she had to move. But in that one week, I was able to actually get my first kiss, and I thought it was kind of awkward, but it was like, like a good experience, I guess. We were like, I guess like our friends that lived in the ranch wanted to actually see us kiss, and I was kind of like, oh crap, man. I was just like, I don't want anyone to see me like kiss someone, especially since it's my first time. Uh, no, so we ended up like going somewhere else like trying to hide from them and then like we were we kind of like just like kiss and i was just like oh crap so this is how it feels and i was like hella embarrassed like we were, we were both hella embarrassed and we just continued doing like like then we went back and just started playing like like because we were still little and we started just playing with our friends and then after like a week or so we would be hanging out like every day and then she moved somewhere and that, that was the end of that I was kind of like oh well it was like I was so too like I guess like naive to understand how sad it was and stuff like that and like, having a breakup because I, I I didn't know much especially since we only did it for like a week but it felt more like we were just hanging out and I completely didn't know how it is to like never actually had my first date and anything so yeah I was kinda like awkward in that stage I guess but then like this was like I think 6th grade I can't remember but then during like middle school I didn't I, was, I had no like love interest and stuff like that then high school came I was like freshman year oh my god freshman year oh god that was the most cringiest time cause like I think freshman year was when I had like a like, I guess, like, a crush, I guess? I don't know, like, all the other years I didn't. Freshman was the only year. And that's probably because freshman year, I had no one to hang out with. So I was, like, the loser. But I, it was funny because I was more nervous for sophomore year than freshman year. But let me backtrack a little more about, like, freshman year. I like this girl. And, like, I was too nervous to ask her out and stuff like that. It was pretty damn embarrassing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's this one time where I, where I actually decided, you know what, I'm gonna buy a bear and give it to her. So like it was like it wasn't break. It was like the the time that they give you to walk to like class to class. It was only like five minutes. So I decided to walk to her class and stuff like that. And um, and <laughs> oh my god, this is so embarrassing. And I, I walked up to her giving like talking to her but I guess like I was too goddamn nervous to actually like speak up really loud so I was kind of like hey, hey here, here's, a, here's a bear for you but like since there's a lot of talking like happening around and I think her friend was right next to her just looking at me but she didn't want to say anything I was just like oh, like just like she was already getting close to her class and I just say F it and I just leave and, and I'm like here Give it to my friend. You can do whatever you want with it. I don't even want it anymore. Then I just gave up. I was just like, ah, oh, crap. I did that for nothing. 
and I felt so embarrassed, especially since I felt like people were looking at me, and just seeing that I just gave up there, and that's why I'm always nervous to asking on a girl and stuff like that. That's why I'm not really like a social person. <laughs> Oh god, it's so embarrassing. And I never asked out anyone after high school. That was a, I think that was the only girl I tried to ask out in high school. And then after that, like, sophomore year, that's when my actual best friend came because he's a year younger than me. Sophomore year through senior year, I was just like with my friends just hanging out. No, no love interest or anything. It was just business at the time. And yeah, that, that was pretty... It was a, I would say it was a... My school time went slow because it went by like like normally and it was just like me chilling with my friends just like doing business talking about talking about stuff just having fun it wasn't a good year I guess because I could have done more with the year but it was just like okay school just did, did work and that's it went home and did homework and stuff like that it wasn't bad it wasn't fun fun I didn't really deal with bowling, so like, I was just kind of like the, like the kid that was just like, no one really talked to, but no, no one can really bully because you don't know him. And I was kind of like, hmm, whatever, just hang out with my friends and that's it, and do my homework and study and stuff like that. Then my senior year came and I was just like, did nothing because it was too damn easy. And yeah, it was pretty, senior year was like, just chill, sit back, lay back, relax, sleep in class because there's nothing to do, literally, since I was like a TA, teacher's assistant, but the teacher never actually needed me, so I'll just be all like, like doing like work for other classes, like homework and stuff like that, so it was just really easy, and yeah, that was basically my high school year, my high school years, and my love life, basically, in a nutshell. Thank you guys for watching, please like and subscribe, share with your friends if you guys are interested, and see you guys next video, peace.